Alrighty, Oppenheimer versus Barbie. We are just about 10 days away from the release from both of these big films that have been promoted a ton, especially in memes that have been against each other. So firstly, why is it so popular? The meme in itself, really. So Oppenheimer and Barbie are two of the biggest films of the year. They both have been one of the most anticipated of the year since the beginning. Like, And both films were expected to be huge. Uh, let's start with the obvious of why they are big films. Firstly, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is a Christopher Nolan film who is known for directing films such as the Dark Knight trilogy, Dunkirk, Inception, Memento, The Prestige. He's done so many great films. Some of the best, in my opinion. And it stars in a, a phenomenal cast of Killian Murphy, Matt Damon, Florence Pugh, Emily Blunt, and Robert Downey Jr., and like a plethora of other huge names. So we've established Oppenheimer, and it's about J. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. So it sounds amazing. Perfection written all over it. Barbie. Barbie's a bit more controversial. People... Some people despise the thought of a good Barbie movie. They were like, it can't be great. But Greta Gerwig is directing it. She she could be one of the best. I'm, I will say that right now. She could be one of the best. Greta Gerwig has done two of my favorite films. Both top 30 easily. Lady Bird and Little Women. I love both of those films so much. And, like, I am hyped for Barbie because Greta Gerwig has established herself as a great director. Lady Bird and Little Women are both phenomenal films. And she knows how to do, how to direct actors extremely well with Saoirse Ronan and Timothy Chalamet and Florence Pugh and everyone in both of those films. So with Barbie, with Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, and everyone else in that movie, I am excited to see what Greta Gerwig can bring to the table. Uh, now the box office predictions. Barbie is expected to earn almost twice as much or well over twice as much as Oppenheimer in the opening weekend. See, Oppenheimer is eyeing about a $40 million opening weekend. Not bad for a drama, an adult drama in 2023, but uh, Barbie, on the other hand, is eyeing 80 to $100 million this in opening weekend. So it'll be interesting to see which one will come out on top with the prediction saying Barbie will double it. Uh, now a big, so we've established Barbie will most likely win the box office race. On the other hand, who's gonna win the awards race? That is a huge part of it too. Both films are, have directors who are very known for getting their films and awards. Gerwig with Lady Bird and Little Women, both getting tons of nominations, and Nolan with most of his films getting a plethora of nominations too, with uh, The Dark Knight, Inception, and Interstellar being the clear standouts with nominations. Now, personally, I believe both films have chances to get tons of nominations. Like, in terms of potential, Oppenheimer has potential to... Well, they both kind of have the potential to get over 10. But will they? Especially with this year, and it could be very competitive. See, Oppenheimer... I am predicting it to get in Best Picture. Best Actor for Killian Murphy. Best Director for Nolan. Best Screenplay. Uh, best Production Design. Best Cinematography, Best Film Editing, Best Score, best and Best Sound. I am leaving out Best Visual Effects for now, though it could very well could get in Best Visual Effects. But it's just, I'm a bit skeptical because of the recent report that there is zero CGI so shots in the film. It still could get in Best Visual Effects, but... I, I'm starting to doubt it, especially with films like Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, The Creator, and um, obviously Dune. Obviously, it's going to win. But, uh, 
Barbie, on the other hand, I'm, I have it in guarantee nominations for Best Supporting Actor, Best Makeup and Hairstyling, Best Costume Design, Best Production Design, Best Original Song, and then I'm going to throw in three potentials, three potentials, Best Picture, Best Director from Greta Gerwig, and Best Screenplay. I am leaving out Margot Robbie for Best Actress because I just feel like she is playing a similar character she has before. Now, she, from the trailers, it could be very different. It very well could. But just from the trailers, it looks like she's playing a similar character she has before. And from being snubbed from Babylon to the Wolf of Wall Street, she, I mean, she still could get a nomination if everyone else that's currently ahead of her just starts flopping. Like last year with Hugh Jackman in The Sun, he was always like top three for the entire year. Then people actually watched the movie and he just sank right out. Got a Golden Globe nomination and just fell out of the race. So with both of these films, they can be huge Oscar contenders, huge. In fact, I personally have Nolan winning Best Director. I think this could be his year because He's been snubbed multiple times. Like, people thought back in 2000, oh, maybe Memento could be? That didn't happen. Well, first, his first film following, no Oscar buzz. Memento could have had a nomination. Never got it, even though I personally think he deserved one. Insomnia is a very underrated film. Nothing happened with that, even though two great lead performances from Pacino and Williams. Then after Insomnia... You had uh, Batman Begins, also a very good potential chance, but I think the Academy's bias against superhero films at the time just kind of dropped his chances, even though I personally think he should have been nominated. So personally, by Batman Begins, he should have had two. Memento and Batman. Then The Prestige. It's completely snubbed out of multiple categories and very well should have gotten nominations should have, The Prestige easily, easily should have been his third. The Dark Knight got eight nominations. Eight nominations, yet missed Picture Director Screenplay. And it completely deserved Picture Director Screenplay. Somehow, the reader got in Best Director and Best Picture over Nolan. The Dark Knight easily should have been Nolan's number four. Inception, come on. Inception, literally the only director directing in that entire year in my opinion that matched nolan's or surpa surpassed nolan's in inception was fincher for the social network who should have won i mean of course there was darren aronofsky for black swan or scorsese for shutter island but nolan easily should have been number two that's five right there by 2010 five interstellar i mean okay there's the dark knight rises I think it's great, but personally, he wouldn't have made my lineup. Interstellar should have got it. Dunkirk should have got it. A Tenet, I like Tenet, but maybe not. So Nolan, in my opinion, should have like seven nominations. Seven. He has one, Dunkirk. Personally, he should have won for Dunkirk. Del Toro did amazing for The Shape of Water, but there was a few directing few movies that were directed better in my opinion dunkirk nolan should have won the dark knight nolan should have won in my opinion even though danny boyle did amazing for some dog millionaire definitely second place but nolan should have won for the dark knight and he should have won for dunkirk he should have two wins and he only has one nomination i know people are going to be saying interstellar look i loved interstellar it's probably the second best directed film of that year in my opinion and I'm not even thinking Birdman. Birdman is, was definitely well directed, but personally was my number th three, four pick maybe. Five is a stretch. Three, four, five. It's in that area. You got. I mean, an R two did amazing for Birdman, but what else was there? My number one in my opinion that year, Boyhood. That should have won. Interstellar, Gone Girl, Grand Budapest. Man, I feel like I'm forgetting one, but you see the point. Nolan 
in my opinion, thinking of who else was nominated, should have two wins. Nolan should have two wins. He doesn't have any. Nolan has the narrative. He hasn't won before. He can win for Oppenheimer. All right. Greta Gerwig, unfortunately, also has a narrative. She has not won an Oscar. She can all... Seeing Barbie win picture or director would be crazy. But I would not say it's unreasonable. I think Barbie has a chance. And very well could. So now that we know, Barbie's most likely going to win the box office. Oppenheimer is most likely going to win the awards. Which one should people see first? Well, that's up to you. If you want to see a movie about Barbie, go ahead. If you want to see a movie about J. Robert Oppenheimer, go ahead. If you want to see Greta Gerwig, go ahead. If you want to see Christopher Nolan, go ahead. Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, Killian Murphy, and everyone else in that movie. See, both films are huge. Both films were my top five most anticipated films of the year from the beginning. And they come out on the same day. So, we shall wait and see how this will carry out. Less than 10 days. Oppenheimer versus Barbie. Personally, I'm more excited for Oppenheimer, if you couldn't tell by my slight rant on no one not winning. But uh, <laughs> I think Oppenheimer will most likely be the better movie. But there's always a chance Barbie could be the best movie of the year. Same with Oppenheimer. Both could be total failures. They both could, but most likely not. Oppenheimer is my most anticipated movie of the year. And I'm going to see both on the same day. Back to back, Oppenheimer than Barbie. So it'll be interesting to see ha what happens out of this. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment if you'd like. <laughs> and share to a few of your friends if you think they'd be interested. The more you guys like and comment and subscribe, the more videos will come out. All right. Have a great day.